Where y'all at? Where y'all at? A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Let's jump into it real quick. Um, and I actually don't even know where to begin. I'm going to be posting some other videos soon on this topic. Um, those of you from Rochester, those of you maybe, uh, you know, not necessarily from Rochester, have probably seen the videos on my page about Jeffrey Rogers. Uh, let me explain to you who Jeffrey Rogers is. So, I don't know, about five years ago, uh, Rochester, New York, mainstream news media uh, basically blew this kid up. You know what I mean? They wrote about him. They featured him on news stories. They featured him on their newscasts. Um, and they coined him. They basically gave him the title of Rochester, New York's youngest journalist. You know what I mean? And basically he, um, you know what I mean? He started getting a little fame, a little popularity, right? Scotland watching, long time no see. What's good, Andy? One of the real ones right there, my man, Andy Taylor. Yeah, I know in many ways I'm disconnecting, uh, slowly but surely disconnecting from Rochester, my friend. And uh, uh, we'll be talking about it in other videos. I got other plans, other things I'm moving on to. Uh, but slowly but surely, you know, yeah, it's true. I haven't been too active on here. And slowly but surely just disconnecting from uh, Rochester, New York, which I'm going to get to in a minute. One of the most corrupt, toxic, just good old boys club city. Uh, and that's actually why I'm making this video now. So anyway, Jeffrey Rogers, um, you know, started gaining, gaining a popularity with his work, with his YouTube channel. What's good? What's going on? Carlos. And, um, you know, everybody looked at him as the cute kid, right? Oh, the cute little kid. He's a reporter. He wants to be part of the media. You know what I mean? He wants to be part of the corporate America run media. So they looked at him like a teacher's pet, right? Everybody took him under his wing, including, including Rochester, New York, Mayor Lovely Warren and Rochester, New York, or former Rochester, New York police chief, Michael Simonelli. But basically, uh, he's in with the RPD, the Rochester, New York Police Department, you know, they look at him and the mayor and all these city officials look at Jeffrey Rogers as their little pet. You know what I mean? Like like a teacher's pet. You know what I mean? Um, like just that, you know, just, you know, somebody who he's always been a cheerleader for the mayor, for Mayor Warren, who everyone knows by now uh, is, is as corrupt as they come when it comes to politicians. And he's just been a cheerleader for the for the RPD. Uh, in fact, in fact, the word on the street, and uh, this ain't coming from me, this is just stuff that comes uh, that I've heard uh, through the grapevine, is that, um, you know, he's very, very connected to the Rochester, New York Police Department. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get into that in another video. But anyways, uh, so what happened is a couple days ago, this past weekend or whatever, um, he stole a, a police car, uh, an unmarked car. You know, the Rochester, New York Police Department, like other police departments across the country, they have unmarked vehicles uh, pulling wool over eyes and all that. He's done it for himself. Absolutely, Andy. Um, and that's usually the thing. People are just, they're good at fooling people. You know what I mean? Absolutely, my man. So basically, uh, he stole a car, a police car, an unmarked uh, Rochester, uh, New York police car. Not a cruiser. It was like a Honda Accord or something. But, you know, I'm sure most of y'all know uh, that, you know, police departments throughout the country, they have undercover cars that they use to buy uh, to do, you know, to buy drugs, you know, that they use for undercover work. So he stole a car, which, by the way, the Rochester, New York Police Department, because, again, they're one of the most fucked up police agencies in the country. They're Keystone, Keystone cops, excuse me, of course. Uh, because they can't do anything right. They left the fucking keys in the car. Uh, who the fuck goes around leaving their keys in the ignition of the car? But that's exactly what the Rochester New York Police Department, because they're a bunch of fucking dumb fucks. So they left the keys, and this kid, Jeffrey Rogers, stole the car, 
went on a joyride with a 13 year old recklessly driving through the city of rochester putting innocent lives at risk uh at one point got into an altercation at a local gas station and pulled a bb gun uh on on uh, on a citizen so he was arrested and here's the thing this is where i'm going with this to show just how corrupt rochester new york is he was released without bail do the math real quick think about this pretend this is your child for a second your son he steals a car he goes on a reckless joyride throughout the city endangering innocent people and children right he gets into an altercation at a gas station and pulls a gun out a bb gun but nobody knew it was a bb gun right until he was arrested right if you're having something pointed at you you're not gonna ask wait a minute is that a real gun you're pointing at me so he terrified people in the city okay after stealing a police car an unmarked police car he's arrested but because he's the teacher's pet of the rochester new york police department and because he's the teacher's pet of rochester new york mayor lovely warren he is released without bail and there's another video that i'll be posting soon where he actually told a reporter the charges will be dropped against him and here's where i'm going to end this video he's charged with very serious charges including grand larceny okay and again, charges that, you know, our kids would never, ever, ever be released on without at least having to point ba uh, post bail. Without us as parents, right? Me and you, think about this, right? Anyone out there defending them, think about this. Your child or my child would have to post bail. You or I would be scrambling around trying to get some money together to bail our kids out. So all the cop apologists that are always on this channel and all the fucking trolls and everyone defending the RPD and everyone defending the mayor, think about how corrupt this city is. That if it was my child or your child, there is no way in fucking hell that they would be released without at least having to post bail. But when you're the teacher's pet, a.k.a. Lovely Warren's pet, and when you're a fucking uh, cheerleader for the Rochester, New York Police Department, and when you have what is known as friends in high places, you're good. Think about that. I'll be following this story closely.